What's going on YouTube? Jeans here bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we're hopping back onto that ranked double letter, but this time using an Iron Jugulus team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. And I gotta ask you guys for a quick favor real quick. Can you guys let me know if my memberships are working? Are you guys able to join the membership? Because when I look at it on my phone, there's no join button on my channel. I know I let leaving a link in the description below to join the membership. So if somebody can just click on it and make sure that you are able to like see the join button and all that good stuff, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm not asking you guys to join and become a member. You guys definitely can if you guys want to, but I just want to make sure it is all up and running because I cannot see it on my side of the screen. So. Do me a favor, go check it out for me. Let me know in the comment section down below. But like I said, we're using an Iron Jugulus team and I haven't used Iron Jugulus in a good bit. Iron Jugulus is a super cool Pokemon. It is the paradox form of Hydreigon and it's gonna be a lot of fun to use it in this series three. Iron Jugulus is going to be our first Pokemon for today's team preview, rocking the Cork Drive and the Booster Energy as its item and ability. It has Snarl, it has Tailwind, it has Taunt and it has Air Slash for a great moveset for its typing. We got Amoongus in the second slot. Amoongus is great on the support side, but this one has a very strong special attacking move with Leaf Storm. He has Regenerator, the Citrus Berry, Pollen Puff, Leaf Storm, Spore, and Rage Powder. Loving this move set on this Amoongus. In our third slot, we got our boy, Iron Hands. Everybody knows Iron Hands is an absolute tank, and it can hit like a truck on that physical attacking side. He has Cork Drive, the Assault Vest as item, rocking Close Combat, Volt Switch, Fake Out, and Wild Charge. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Palafin, and Palafin is just top tier when you switch it into that hero form. This one has Mystic Water, Wave Crash, Jet Punch, Haze to take off all stat changes on the field, and last but not least, it has Protect. Bottom two Pokemon, our final set is going to be Chiyu and Fluttermane. We got Choice Spec, Chiyu, and Life for Fluttermane. Don't really need to talk about them too much considering you guys seen these, these sets plenty of times on the rank ladder. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Series 3 Iron Jugulus team. First match is on its way. We're going up against an Indeedee and Armourish team alongside with a T-Tar and Sand Rush Houndstone team. They also have Halucha, who's probably rocking the Psychic Seeds to pair up with Indeedee as well. This one could definitely be a little tough for us, but hopefully we get the rock out with these Pokemon and grab ourselves a win here. But who should I lead? How should I go into it? I'm thinking... I'm thinking Palafin's going to be a solid lead here, right? Palafin, get him into that hero form. Get him rocking. As long as that terrain's not really going, we should be fine with it. Iron Jugulus isn't too bad here either, especially with that booster energy. We'll boost its speed stat, which is great. So I kind of want to go into that. And on top of that, we have Snarl and all that. They lead in DD and Armors. He's going to be great. So I'm going to lead the Iron Jugulus here. I'm also going to lead the Palafin and try to swap it out. And then Chi Yu and Fluttermane are going to be your best friends this back in Pokemon. So I'm really liking that. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But I am curious to see who they're going to lead. Because again, a lot of different ops here. And we're looking to get things started off strong here. Match number one victory is always ideal. Always ideal to get the video started off with a W. Let's see who they end up going into. Indeedee and Halucha. See, I was thinking, I was hoping it was Indeedee and Armourish, but Indeedee and Halucha is not too bad for us. I know this thing's going to pop the Psychic Seeds. It's going to unburden, so its speed is going to go through the roof. And we might want to Thrasilize our, our Jugs right here. We might want to Thrasilize Jugs. I'm not too sure if I want to Thrasilize Jugs. Let's see. So Psychic Seeds coming out of your ass, unburdened, so its speed is going to go up. Our Quirk Drive might actually be good for that. But we have a great Terror type of Steel. It's pretty solid. I could actually just stay in here and go into like an air slash, which I'm really leaning towards, right? Just going straight into an air slash and then just hard swapping into like Chiyu. That could be really good for us. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hard swap right into Chiyu. Probably a follow me might come out here. I'm hoping we can just rip into Halucha and try to get rid of it. Because if I get rid of that Pokemon, we could be thriving. And we might actually outspeed it due to that Cork Drive. The Bees of Ruin is going to come out here. We are going to get our Palafin in the hero form. And of course, this thing opts to for the follow me, which is solid play for on their end. Sword Sands comes out here. That is terrifying. That right there is terrifying. That is a scary Pokemon right there. That thing is terrifying. And it outspeeds me. So, yeah, that, that's a scary little Pokemon. That is a scary little Pokemon. So, from here, I'm just going to Air Slash again. And actually, I could Tailwind. Maybe I should just Tailwind last turn. Actually, you know what? I'm going to Tailwind here. 
just to try to get some speed, and I'm gonna go for this Heat Wave, or I can choice to a Dark Pulse. I think Heat Wave's gonna be your friend. We're gonna try to get this Tailwind off. It could be big time for us, because I am terrified of this Halucha. Sword Stance plus two, it has Unburden, and it has Psychic Seeds defensive boost. This thing is wild. Acrobatics and Fire. We don't eat it up. It gets a crit. It gets a crit. That kind of sucks, but hey. We get off this Tailwind, which is big time for us. So Tailwind's gonna come out for us. Uh, I don't mind that. I don't mind that. I think we are I think we should be thriving here. And then I could bring out Palfin, but I'm just gonna save Palfin for when the terrain kind of ends so I can just freely jet punch. And we're gonna go into our Flutterman here. So Chiyu takes the, takes the hit there, allows us to set up this Tailwind, and I think from here we could just go straight into like an Air Slash. And then just a Gleam. I could Terrasalize into Fairy, just to make sure his Gleam does more damage. But huh, is that, is that what I want to do? Is that what I want to do? Kind of a little bit? I think I definitely want to do that. That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to Terrasalize Slice Flutter Man. We want this thing doing as much damage as it possibly can. I'm going to Terrasalize, go for a nice little Gleam. I maybe should have went for a, uh, a Moon Blast. Because Moon Blast would do more damage on the NDD and probably take it out. And then we can just have my Jugulus take out the the halucha but it's all good we're gonna hope that this acid we get some work done here but dazzling gleams actually air slash comes out here first which isn't bad so air slash flying dazzling gleam, i think should be able to pick up the ko onto both these guys so gleam's gonna fly here it does pick up the double ko and now we're sitting in a very 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 strong position so we took some early damage now we're taking the front because in the beginning there, once he set up the Swords Ant and did some damage and took out my Chiyu, I was kind of scared. I was like, yo, our opponent actually looking like he's in a good spot. But since we just made that play, we let our Chiyu go out, took speed with Tailwind. We're actually looking really, really solid here. T-Tar comes out here alongside with, uh, alongside with Sandy Shocks. And I think we might just want to double down on Sandy Shocks. It's going to Protosynthesis boost and it's going to boost his special attack, I believe. Yes. Okay. So again, not sitting in a bad spot. We're sitting pretty good here. I could Snarl, but Snarl's really not gonna do anything crazy. I could Taunt. I think we just go for Air Slashes and we kinda just double down into some Pokemon. And Gleam's gonna be your play? Yeah, Gleam's gonna be your play. All day. So they do not Terrasalize, which is odd. Very, very odd. No ter Terrasalize comes out here. Daz and Gleam's gonna pick up some big time damage, especially on T-Tar. Maybe even KO the Sandy Shocks. Does not KO the Sandy Shocks, but damage is through the roof. Thunderbolt's gonna fly here. Might take out my jugs. It does take out my jugs. And all we really need is Fluttermane to be able to eat up a shot at this point, right? That's pretty much all we need. And Heavy Slam comes out here. And now this match has just turned. It has just turned. Okay. Okay, I see it. I feel you. I feel you. All we have is Palafin left. And Sandy Shocks needs to go. Sandy Shocks has got to go. This match is way too close. How many turns is left in the terrain is the real question. Because it could be one. It could be one. I really want to see. We have one turn in Tailwind and one turn in terrain. And since we have one turn in Tailwind, I could protect. Because then we just get first turn priority. And first turn priority would KO both these guys. Or I could just go into Wave Crash because we do have Tailwind set up. And I don't feel as he's going to protect here. I feel, like he, I feel as he's going to attack me, so I'm just going to wave crash the Sandy Shocks here. And we'll see it's Terra type, probably from the T-Tar, right? Probably from the T-Tar, yeah. Going into straight flying, man, this match is coming down. It is coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. I don't know if a wave crash can KO the T-Tar. Wave crash is going to KO Sandy Shocks. Turns into a 1v1. Um, He might outspeed me after this. I wonder what T-Tar's speed is. Let's see what he goes for. Miss a Rock Slide or something? That'd be big time. Just for Rock Slide. How much damage is this doing? We can eat up an... Actually, we might not be able to eat up another one because of Buffets. We might not be able to eat up another one. He's taking Buffets too. Um, Tailwind is gone. I think we just let Buffets hit him, right? Because how much damage is Jet Punch going to do? It's 60. Always goes first. I think we just have to hope we go first and take this thing out. Actually, we gotta protect first. We gotta let Buffett do as much damage as it possibly can. Because Jet Punch is not gonna KO. Jet Punch is simply not gonna KO. 
I'm really hoping we outspeed this T-Tar, but 125 speed on Palafin, ooh. Kinda slow, right? Kinda slow. We maybe should've went, maybe should've went for the Wave Crash last turn. Let's go for Wave Crash now. Do we outspeed it? Show me we outspeed it. We do outspeed it. Does this pick up the KO? For the victory right here? We get it. We get it. What a first match. Coming down to the wire, going back and forth. We thought our opponent had the match in the bag at first, then we thought we had the match in the bag at second. Then I thought they had the match in the bag, but overall, we grab ourselves a win and we start off 1-0. What a first match to get this video started. We're hopping into our second. Let's go back to back and guarantee ourselves a winning record. Going up against a Wo Chen team and Chiyu alongside with Fluttermane, Glamora, Iron Hands, and last but not least, they have Talonflame, which Talonflame probably rocking the Cobra Cloak. I kind of want to go into Palafin here, try to get that thing into hero form as soon as possible. Definitely could come up clutch later. And then I'm also going to go Iron Jagios. Just in case they want to go in with the Talonflame, we can match their Tailwind speed and kind of get after the match that way. So we're going in with the same lead. I might just bring the same exact team. Chiyu, Fluttermane, really could get some work done. I'm really liking this team. I'm really liking leading Iron Jagios. I think it's super, super strong. Plus, you guys don't see it too much, so it's awesome to actually use that Pokemon and try to get some wins with it. So I wonder who they're going to lead, but I think it's just going to be Talonflame, right? Talonflame is a pretty good lead for like most situations. So... Chances are, we're going to see a little bit of Talonflame action, but yo, I cannot wait for the next series. The Series 4, Regulation D, it's going to be absolutely amazing. Adding all the Pokemon from Pokemon Home, Charizard's going to be there, Red Ninja. Super, super excited for that. Hopefully, you guys are excited for that content as well. But they're going to go in with Iron Hands and Glamora. Okay, um, I could Hard Swap. I could Jet Punch here as well. Jet Punch, not bad. Um, but I'm thinking of just Hard Swap maybe into a Pokemon like Chiyu. I think, it's, I think that's my best bet. So I'm going to hard swap you into Chiyu. And then on top of that, um, I could just air slash. I could terrasize into straight steel, which might might want to be my play. You know, that's what I'm going to do. Just in case the electric move comes out here. Just in case that electric move wants to come out here. I am a little, I am a little scared of the wild charge, but I am going to use my terrasization here. And just get after it. So we're doing it. We're terrestrializing iron jugs. So cool. Iron jugs into the steel type. Are you going for fake out? You are going for fake out regardless. So terrestrializing did not really do much for us. I flinch. This Glamour is going to go for a toxic. How dare you? And he is going to start melting my cheese. So Chiyu's on a timer pretty much, right? He's sitting here on a nice little timer. Uh, Where do we go for to from here? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Where do I go from here? Heat Wave could be pretty good. Dark Pulse, probably a little bit better. I'm going to start Dark Pulsing down the Glamour slot. And then start just Air Slashing down the, the Iron Hand slot. Get off as much damage as I possibly can. This is kind of tough. Maybe I should—I I definitely shouldn't have terrestrialized my Iron Jugs. I should have known that Fake Out was probably the option rather than Wild Charge, but it's all good. Now we can just hit me with a Drain Punch, so pretty bad terror on my part. Try to make an early read, early read, and it, it's just not working out. It's just not working out. But Air Slash is going to fly here. Give me a flinch at least. Help me out a little bit here. And Dark Pulse is also going to fly here. Doing a nice chunk of damage. Ooh, sashing that thing? We sashing that thing. We are sashing that thing. So Power Gem's going to fly here, and that's going to go after my Chiyu. Chiyu's going to die to Toxic, and Close Combat's going to finish me off. So yeah, like I said, tough, tough spot, but I, we could definitely win this match. We got Fluttermane, and we got Palf in the back end. Two OP Pokemon. Two OP Pokemon with Iron Hands' and defense drop. I think we're sitting fine here. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible spot. I wish I had, like, Swords Ants or something on my uh, Palafin, because now would be a perfect time to, to go into a Gleam, get a double KO, and then it's, like, Swords Ants up. But hey, this is gonna be this uh, this match actually gonna be a lot closer than, than we think. This match is gonna be way close. So from here, I'm probably just gonna jet punch into the uh into the iron hands, and then I'm just gonna dazzle and gleam through, right? It's our best bet. Unless he's gonna terrestrialize, but I highly doubt he terrestrializes here. I really doubt he terrestrializes. I highly doubt he terrestrializes. So jet punch is gonna fly out here, gonna gleam on top of that. His defense is already down. Again, I highly doubt he terrestrializes. I think we see a swap more so than anything. But we'll see what he wants to do here. 
We shall see. There's no way he Terrasslide. If he Terrasslide, that's a great call. That's a great call. Because then I'll get off another turn with Iron Hands. If it's Grass Terror, he will definitely get off another turn with Iron Hands. But, again, I just don't see it happen. I don't see it happen. He's thinking. He's thinking. I think he's going to swap Iron Hands. I really do. I think he keeps Glamora. Hopes for me to hit the Glamora with something. And, yeah, there's a swap on the Iron Hands. So, he's going to go into somebody that's weak to Jet Punch. Chiyu. We like that. We like that. So, Chiyu's going to die out here. We're, gonna, we're still going to pick up the double kill regardless. But, he's going to come in here and be able to fake out. Jet Punch is going to fly here. Take out Chiyu, no problem. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Take out Chiyu, no problem. One shot it, and that's something's gonna finish off the Glamora. So Iron Hands now comes back out here without the defense drop, and this is where he probably terrestrializes, right? This is probably where he terrestrializes. The Iron Hands. He could fake out my power and that's probably what's gonna happen. And their Flutterman is also gonna come out here. Actually, they might do that. Mm. Do I just attack? I think their Flutter Main is going to be faster than mine, right? Especially booster energy. Real tough. Real tough. Speed Titan. I think I have to Jet Punch. I think I have to Jet Punch and just Gleam. I know he has Fake Out. I know he can Fake Out, but we could all, we could protect the Palfin. Let's say we protect the Palfin, he pretty much... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go into a jet punch and let's just protect the flutter main. Just in case he's like, hey, I'm not gonna fake out. I'm just gonna attack the flutter main thinking my palafin's gonna protect. But we're gonna see a terror here come out from who? Probably flutter main, right? No, Iron Hands gonna get it. So Iron Hands gets it. Thinking of ways we can win this match, because this match is tough. It is tough. We protect the Flutter Main. Is that their Flutter Main? Their Flutter Main protected as well. Their Flutter Main protected. So Double Protect comes out here. We're hoping their Iron Hands at least goes after my Flutter Main. Jet Punch gonna get blocked. Are we doing the same thing? Are we pretty much doing the same thing? Or are you getting rid of my Palafin here? You're getting rid of my Palafin. Wow. Great call on his end. That is going to be game, set, and match. So... We come out there with a bad terrestrialization in, in match number two. Really does his third. We almost pulled off the comeback, but now his Flutter Mage outspeeds me. If I can, say he makes a mistake or something, maybe we can pick up KO with Shadow Ball. But no, yeah. I figured he would just go into Shadow Ball and finish me off. So there's match number two. We are sitting... Wait a minute. Can he miss an attack? And I pick up the KO? I don't think I'm even picking up the KO here. I am. I'm Life Orb. Can you miss an attack? Can you miss an attack and give me a shot here? Probably not, right? Yeah, no. So Heavy Slam comes out there. That finishes me off. Wow. I would have I cried if we would have won that one. That would have been hilarious. But hey, one and one. Let's hop to our third and grab ourselves that winning record. Third and final match is here. Let's do it. Let's grab ourselves this winning record. Going up against a really cool team. Ting Lu and Chiyu as their Legends of Ruins Pokemon. And then they got Mimikyu, Salamence, Mousehold, and Claw Itzer. Again, really, really cool team. How should I play this one? Who should I lead? I could go in with Jugs. I do not mind leading Jugs here. So I'm going to go Iron Jugs. Plus, he's the Pokemon that I really want to showcase most in today's video. So I'm going to be doing that. I could also lead Palafin. I think Palafin is going to be a great lead, so I'm actually going to end up leading Palafin. Then in the back end, I could go Chiyu and Fluttermane, go same team. But I'm thinking of going Iron Hands and Chiyu, or Iron Hands and Fluttermane. I really want Iron Hands in here. I think it could be very, very good. And then I need to decide between Chiyu or Fluttermane, and I'm kind of leaning towards Fluttermane, just because Fluttermane is just better. <laughs> it really is. It's just 10 times better. Great speed, great special attack. But Chiyu with that Choice Scarf, or Choice Spec, could get some work done as well, so I'm kind of leaning towards him, right? I'm kind of leaning towards the Chiyu. He's just a beast. He's just a beast, but Fluttermain is that Pokemon. Fluttermain's that Pokemon. Maybe I should have just led Chiyu and uh, Iron Jugs, but I really want a Palafin. Like, having Palafin back in, in hero form is just such a big advantage if you can do it. I really do like it, so we'll see. Maybe we'll just hard swap Palafin. Into, I was going to say into Chiyu, but we didn't bring Chiyu. Into Flutter Man could be a decent change there. Or probably Iron Hands, right? Because then I can get the Fake Out next turn. I kind of get after it that way. But we'll see. They end up going Claw Itzer and... Okay. 
So Claw Itzer comes out here alongside with Chiyu. Kind of scared. A little scared. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. And I'm thinking I'm just setting up this Tailwind. And I could Jet Punch. I really could Jet Punch here. I could Jet Punch. But I'm just gonna go straight into Iron Hands here. I'm just gonna go straight into Iron Hands. I'll see. I need my Pal in Hero form. I'm really thinking. I was really thinking about just dropping that thing with a Jet Punch and doing some big time damage. But I don't think we can pick up the KO on the Chiyu. Actually, we might be able to. That thing's real weak. He's a real weak Pokemon. The Chiyu ends up just protecting, so that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Let's see what Clawitzer ends up doing. Probably goes for like a, a pulse move with his Mega Launcher. But we got off a Tailwind. That's big time. That's big time for us. He goes for a Water Pulse. Can you eat this up? You do. Cool. So we get off the big time eat. Um, Air Slash can now fly. I mean, I could Snarl here as well. But I'm thinking just Air Slashing and faking out you, right? I could actually double down to Clawitzer. But I'm going to just pick out the Chiyu. Play it smart, play it slow. So we get off the Tailwind. Clutcher did some big time damage, but Iron Jugs was able to eat, which is big time. Fake Out is now going to fly. Air Slash is also going to fly. Air Slash should be able to do a big chunk of damage, which it did, but uh, we got a flinch on who? Chiyu? Yeah, we got a flinch on Chiyu. Now Water Pulse is flying. He's chunking up some damage. Um, hmm. I think I'll just Snarl. I could close combat, but I'm thinking maybe just Volt Switching. I'm just going to Volt Switch out. I wish I, I wish I had Drain Punch at this point. But Snarl's going to fly here. We are going to get the special attack drop on it both. Volt Switch should be able to pick up the KO on the Colitzer. And I'm hoping Iron Hands can just outspeed, which it does. So Volt Switch comes out here. And, mm, mm, I always hate how low damage Volt Switch does. I always hate it. Always hate it. But now I could just bring out Fluttermane. I mean, Fluttermane's actually pretty solid call here. I'll go into Flutter Main here. I have my fake out in the back end, so it's really good for us. So he probably goes for Heat Wave on top of a Water Pulse. Looking to KO. Yeah. And this probably KOs me, right? Ooh, this could be bad. This could be bad. I should have just taken out that thing with Wild Charge or something. Water Pulse might KO me. Actually, Snarl Drop. We survive. Cool. <laughs> what? Confusion on Water Pulse? Come on now. Little, little out there, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it, I guess. It's whatever. So we end up going into Palfin. We're kind of just hoping that my Flutter main does not get confused damage, right? Because then that could be real bad. But I'm going to go Jet Punch. I'm going to go Dazzle Gleam here. I don't think we're sitting terribly. I really don't think we're sitting terribly. But I still have the Iron Hands in the back. And Iron Hands get some work done. We have Tailwind for like another turn or two. And Jet Punch is going to fly and finish this Chiyu off. So Chiyu is gone. Can we land the Sazen Gleam? Can we just say, hey, confusion's not a problem. That's what we're really hoping for here. C don't do me dirty, Fluttermane. Do not do me dirty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Fluttermane. So we take out the Call Insert, and now it is a 2v... 2.5, kind of. We have 2.5. Fluttermane's going to die next turn. Fluttermane's gone our next turn. Our Tailwind's gone, but I don't really mind our speed stat. I don't mind it. Let's see who they end up going into. I'm kind of hoping they brought Salamence. That's pretty cool. Mimikyu. Okay, so Mimikyu comes out here. Shadow Sneak. A little bit of a problem. Probably going to come out here. And Mouse A little bit of a problem. Definitely a problem. Definitely a problem. So from here, I'm actually just going to take off that. I'm going to go into a Gleam. He's definitely Shadow Sneaking me. And he might pop on me. Pop on scary. Pop on the scary. So we jet punch. We're gonna take off that disguise. I want that disguise going. Is Shadow Sneak? Is Shadow Sneak coming out here? It does come out here. And is Pop Bomb gonna finish me off here too? Don't tell me Pop Bomb's here. Don't tell me Pop Bomb's here. Don't tell me you're Pop Bombing. He's Pop Bombing. I'm dead. Unless two. Yeah, I'm dead. He gets a crit there too. <laughs> come on, man. You stop hitting me, please. Give me one more turn. That's all I asked for. One more turn. Pop bomb's too good. Way too good. Now, is there any way we can win this match? Probably not, right? Nine times. Hit me nine times. We do have vests. I mean, they're both physical attackers, though. They're both physical attackers. And yeah, this is just not good. This is just not good. I guess I'll close combat. Mouse might even protect. I mean, we gotta kind of hope Mouse protects, right? I think we're going for a fake out. 
That's really what we gotta hope for. But Mouse will probably just harass slice into ghost type, right? Yep, Mouse will goes into ghost type. We're gonna lose match number three. We're gonna go one and two for today's video. I feel like I played really good in match number one, and then match number two and three, I kind of played bad. But it's all good. Hopefully, you guys still did enjoy the content. But Pop Bomb coming out here. I think I, I think Mousehold is that guy, right? Mousehold is so good, especially Pop Bomb, and he can pretty much KO any Pokemon. Iron Hand's probably not surviving this. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. That Pokemon's just crazy strong. Pop Bomb is just way too strong. But there it is, guys. One and two for today's video. Hopefully, you guys still did enjoy. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Definitely could have went two and one. If I played a little bit better. Match number one, we played great. We got to showcase Iron Jugulus, and we actually got to showcase him in the rest of the battles, but I just wish we would have grabbed ourselves another victory. That's definitely on my end. Not playing at my best peak today, but still, hopefully you guys enjoy. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.